Hi again, we've moved on to absolute values. We want to be able to actually evaluate an absolute value equation. So we got to see how we do it. What do we got? We got the absolute value of 8 minus y minus 1 equals 7. Well, if we want to get rid of an absolute value, first thing we need to do is get it on its own. So first we got to get rid of this 1. So we're going to have the absolute value of 8 minus y equals 8. So we're adding 1 to both sides. Great. Now how do I get rid of an absolute value? Well, the trick is that you're going to add a plus or minus. And now technically it doesn't matter. Uh, some people will add it to this side, the side where you eliminate the absolute value. I am a fan of doing it to the other side. I always will put a plus or minus on the other side. And well, the reasoning for this is simple for me. Normally this is just a number. It's easier to put plus or minus 8 rather than plus or minus all this mess and have to multiply it through. So, what does that mean? I eliminated the absolute value, so this side is just 8 minus y, and the other side I get plus or minus 8 because either one could have been right because of the absolute value. And now I have to actually evaluate both cases. So, first I'll look at 8 minus y equals positive 8. Well, I'm actually going to get minus y equals 0, or y equals 0, which is okay. That's a viable solution. Or I can look at this one. Let's switch. What do I got? 8 minus y equals minus 8. Okay, great. So now I get minus y equals minus 16, or y equals 16, which is also a viable solution. Again, this is how we solve absolute value problems. You get plus or minus, and then you solve both cases. So, we'll see a lot of these.